In this video, we're going to install SQL Server integration services on top of Visual Studio 2022. So I'm going to go into my extensions up here, manage extensions. Let's look for SQL Server integration. So here's the SQL Server integration services projects. So this allows it to read SQL Server integration projects. It allows you to uh, develop SSIS and then also you can deploy from here. So we'll go ahead and install this. And it popped up a little download over here. Um, pick in English, okay. We're going to install SQL Server Integration Services projects. Um, you have to accept the licensing terms if you want to use this. We're going to put it into the Visual Studio Community Edition 2022. And we are going to install. Now we get this error because we still have this thing open. So we'll close that. And we're going to try again. We have installed the SQL Server Integration Services projects. It says restart required in order to complete setup. All specific components have been installed successfully. The computer needs to be restarted before setup can continue. So let's do that restart. Okay, I restart it. Now let's go see um, in my apps. There's the Visual Studio 2022. And I want to see if I can create an integration services project, which is right here as a new one. Um, we can import one or we can just create one. We're just going to make sure we know how to create one. So I'm just going to say SSIS project one create. It looks like it's got some getting started over here on the left. I don't need that right now. Um, let's see, over on the right, we have an SSIS project. This is the shell of what you would normally have. It starts you off with package, which gives you the control flow, data flow, and all that. On the left-hand side, you have your toolbox. Um, so I think we've installed it. 